This is an ostrich's claw. Boy, get out of there. Oh, Kevin, I have your children. He turned into a little ball. What is he, Papa? Can I eat him? The baby and Gort seem to be getting along. His tumor is actually much smaller. And all kinds of other predators. Oh, sweet wampum. Oh, look at this little... Oh, come on. Good morning, everybody. Big Ounce is still alive and well here. So I think he lives somewhere in here. Oh, there he is. Look at this beautiful creature living in my Minecraft comforter under my bed. This old man one heck of an escape artist. He went ahead and chewed through this thing. I put a sign and a cutting board in between the two doggy doors so that he wouldn't get through here. As it turns out, he knew how to jump over it the whole time. Why he decided to chew through this twice before just jumping over it the first time, I don't know. He's obviously very healthy still. Okay, boy, let me pick you up. As you can see here, his tumor is actually much smaller than it used to be. And he's been spending most of his free time in recovery just studying the scriptures. Based and you Unic pilled big ounce, swearing a vow to celibacy and focusing on the studies. He does spend a lot of time just napping though and getting under the cover. But he's much healthier now. His tumor's a lot smaller as you can see. So thank you guys so much for praying for him because I think that actually helped a lot. I mean, his cancer basically just shrunk. So either this little man was eating his cancer or it just went away naturally. A miracle. He is still a little bit stinky and I don't love him wagging his tumor all over the place and dragging dragging it around but he's also my precious boy and i do love him so i'm glad that i get to spend all this time with him indoors and i'm glad that our friends were able to take care of bingus while he's recovering it would have been a lot to have to have this little man in here with a baby kangaroo although i'm sure big ounce would have gotten along with bingus just fine having said that i do believe these guys can also carry toxoplasmosis which will just randomly kill a kangaroo wow i'm just enamored by the small movements of this creature look at his tiny little ear cringe little tiny ear with his chubby little cheeks and his stupid face this man needs to brush his teeth but okay guys that's your big ounce update for today he'll still just jump right off the bed onto the floor but i don't like him doing that because he gets hurt so he'll still let me pick him up like a little sandwich and then i put him in here and once i wrap him in here he just goes to bed it's nice and warm outside so i'm gonna bring master Ugwe out and boy do i have a big update for you guys today this man's gotten a lot more comfortable with me carrying him also and i'm busting out the fake tevas again because it's 80 degrees and enjoy your sunlight and grass sounds like pewdiepie got his head stuck in something Thing, so I have to go save him. What is it, Dingus? You get your head stuck in that? Okay, I'm coming. Look at this yeah. little... Oh, come on. Looks like he stuck yeah. his head through that little hole. Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to get you out. How did you do that, you little dingus? I'm just going to let the goats free range today. How do I do this? I'm going to go ahead and angle his head. I have to turn the camera off for this. You little stupid. Yeah, I actually can't get his head out of there, so I'm going to have to cut it open with the loppers. Good thing they're right here. And Market Pliers is just eaten by himself now. He cares not for the peril of PewDiePie. And it's just making me break my fence. All right, son, you're free. Go ahead and eat all this grass over here. All right, everybody. I just had some plumbers come out and give us a little estimate for this area i think we're gonna take it next week we're gonna have the sewer and the water ran to here we're gonna get all the plumbing done before the next inspection all of the chickens have been hanging out under here lately i've got my landscapers working the property right now my beautiful babies are about to eat this moth that's floating in the water here good morning queeb good morning pauber these fellas are also drinking over here master ugwe is on his way over to the barn where he'll hide under there for the remainder of the day kind of based not gonna lie Still waiting on the inspectors to come out and give us the okay for the electric for the barn. And I put the baby in here with the cappies because he's a herd animal and he needs enrichment. It's also good and healthy for him to be with the wobbies. It's been a week or two since I drained the cappy water, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Sweet wampum. Oh. And while that's draining, I'm going to go ahead and do the other chores. But it looks like the baby and Gorch seem to be getting along pretty well. I sure do love these creatures. The pigs are thriving. Half squat Obama and Donald Trump are all doing well hey that's a beautiful little bird nothing like feeding my son by hand even though that wastes most of the feet but anything i drop these little guys will just eat so look at that it's nice to have these other animals to clean up the mess kevin's attacking my hose right now in a fit of raid uh, he's about to oh yep now he's in the water okay it's fine i needed to dump this out anyway i'll be refilling all the water for these guys today now kevin's just stuck in here oh. 
Okay, all right, excuse me. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. And we even have our first eggs of the season, which means that Kevin is about to get eight times as aggressive as he normally is, which is already pretty horrendous. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their water now. But from now on, Kevin's aggression is actually warranted. And the biological reason why Kevin's actually like this is to protect his eggs from me and all kinds of other predators like jackals and ostriches, raccoons and other little things that would eat those eggs. Basically, nothing can get in here and stay alive. We finally got rid of this enclosure and I got a clip of that right here. Okay, right now I'm with the be all to we are getting these uh, adorable little things out of here. We're doing a little Bob the Builder action taking down this thing because it doesn't really work. Uh, Brandon's a little bit scared of our rat heights, even though they're just precious they little tower creatures. over me. I told you guys sometimes to let me touch his thigh. Wow, look at this beautiful thigh, you guys. These boys are just itching to eat all these bolts. I would be an extra careful to make sure that we don't drop them on the ground because if these guys eat them if this boy sees them he will just eat them look all these chickens just coming up out of nowhere as you can see homelander here would not leave us alone this beautiful get over here and kiss me on my hot mouth i'm feeling romantical this is the largest animal i own now you guys officially this is the largest animal i've owned look at those big beautiful legs and if i'm lucky he'll let me lift up his wing a little bit so i can look at his thigh wow you guys look at that under wing wow that is what it looks like underneath an ostrich wing you see how they have a little claw right here you guys this is an ostrich's claw they have a little claw on their wing. This is how you know these things are basically dinosaurs. Look at this little claw that he's just letting me touch and this giant meaty wing. Hey, it's me, the weird Indian yellow frog that Uncle Ben saw on Instagram today. Did you remember to like this video? Did you? Like it. Think about how much protein is on here, boy. Oh, my mouth is watering looking at that leg, Homelander. Now these guys are coming up. But look at this beautiful boy. They all like to let me touch them now, which is really cool. But now I just need to start running the sprinklers again and letting all the grass grow in here and we'll be good. Oh, it's that time of year again. <laughs> here comes Kevin. Extreme Extremely conveniently, Karen laid her eggs right next to this other back gate. Doesn't really matter though, because Kevin is just as aggressive back here. Oh, uh, but this is my riot shield. I use this whenever Kevin gets a little uppity. Oh, that's his little noise that he makes. What's wrong, Kevin? You don't want the smoke? He knows the shield means business. Later today, I'm gonna fill up their water, clean up all these nasty hoses here. I'm leaving this shield here for later. And these guys are coming back to the incubator. Oh, Kevin, I have your children. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin. Did I just steal your children? And there's nothing you can do about it? Here you go, Homelander. Eat up. Go ahead, Homelander. Eat it. This is payback for beating up Homelander all those days, Kevin. Just kidding, guys. I wouldn't let him do that if I knew it would hurt the egg. These things are pretty tough. Duck moment. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Elon Musk is testing out his rockets down the road. Even from McGregor, I can hear it very loudly throughout all of Waco. Queeb has discovered Master Ugwe for the first time i think and she says what is he papa can i eat him ounce topia is still cringe oh did you hear him yell but pretty soon there's probably gonna be some babies in there hopefully they're big ounces big ounce i brought supper it's okay son you don't have to be that excited but that's a little noise he makes when he greets me when i come home he's really happy when i'm home now i just need to go ahead and disinfect this thing plug it in fire it up and we'll get to incubating again also guys this is a hedgehog that my friend gave me i know i'm kind of cringe for holding it with this glove but i'm scared of them because i've never had one she said she did not have time to take care of her anymore but look how cute and precious this creature is and we do take in everything the humane society won't take so i said all right tell you what i'll take care of her not gonna lie though guys i am a little bit scared of this thing so if you have any advice in the comments just let me know but my friend gave me the rundown basically and i have a good setup for her and i'll show you that in the next video oh look she's letting me touch her without a glove wow i can't believe these things just exist in nature. I was just leaning on Big Ounce. I'm sorry, bud. I'm not gonna let them interact for a little while just because I feel like that might be a disaster. But these are very neat little creatures. And I can't wait to do a little creature feature for you guys, Anna. Look at this. Whenever I try to pick her up, look.
Oh, she makes this little noise. Oh, look, she turned into a little ball. This is so cute. Let me know what you guys think I should name her. I'm thinking about Ebola. Options are Ebola, Sobic, Ugandan Knuckles, and Fortnite Burger. That's it for now, though, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. This is how I look all the time. And yes, I'm on my Aaron Yeager arc. Hey, it's me, Big Ounce. Don't forget to buy a Big Ounce pillow. And to peruse our merch site. Whoa, thanks for reminding us, Big Ounce. I... I love you. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching our video. And we'll see you in the next video. Who almost forgot to tell you. Also, this is how I will be editing this video. Oh, he's in my pant leg now, right here. There he is. No, he would never bite me, but at any given time, he could. Get out of there, big ounce. Boy, get out of there. Go. I prefer to just hang out with him with the blanket on the bed. That way he could still be safe and cuddle without getting into my underwear. Nasty, cringe little creature.